In the era of software-based cars, automakers can now make upgrades overnight without the need for costly hardware changes. The Ford Mustang Mach-E is a prime example. While it doesn't look drastically different inside or out for the new year, aside from some new appearance options, it benefits from new thermal modeling and control algorithms that enhance the driving and ownership experience. Additionally, the Mach-E now features a lighter rear motor. Understanding some of the changes to the 2024 Mach-E requires knowledge of chemistry and engineering, but the tangible benefits are clear to anyone shopping for a new electric vehicle. Ford has successfully improved the range, charging speeds, and on-road performance, which are crucial areas for EVs to excel. In addition to the increased range on certain variants, Ford has introduced a new rally off-road trim, which will be reviewed separately. Are these improvements enough to keep the Mach-E competitive in the growing EV market? CarBuzz traveled to Seattle, Washington, to find out. Exterior. What's new? Ford has taken a minimalist approach to updating the Mach-E S styling. The most notable change is that all trims now come standard with the previously optional LED headlights. For those choosing the GT Performance variant, there is a new optional bronze appearance package that includes 20-inch sinister bronze wheels and bronze accents on the badges and front grille. We tested a Mach-E GT in a striking new color called Eruption Green, previously introduced on the Bronco. This shade looks particularly aggressive when combined with the bronze appearance package. However, the bronze accents are only available with specific colors, including Eruption Green, Shadow Black, and Star White Metallic Tricoat. If you prefer colors like Rapid Red, Grabber Blue, Glacier Gray, or Vapor Blue, you'll have to forego the bronze details. Interior. More of the same. The interior remains largely unchanged, which is a good thing. The Mach-E S cabin feels upscale and tech-forward, with every trim level featuring a 15.5-inch touchscreen in the center and a short but wide 10.2-inch gauge cluster displaying speed and battery percentage. Over the years, Ford has made minor software updates to this screen, including a larger area for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and new functionality for the volume knob to adjust climate control. The premium trim adds a 10-speaker BNO Biasonic audio system by Bang & Olufsen, ambient lighting, heated front seats, memory settings for the driver's seat and mirrors, a power liftgate, and more. The GT trim includes these amenities and adds bolstered performance front seats wrapped in perforated ActiveX material with Miko inserts. Performance. Quicker for longer. The Mach-E is available with two different battery sizes, each of which can be paired with a rear-drive single electric motor or an all-wheel-drive dual-motor setup. The GT model offers enhanced performance with its model-specific dual-motor AWD setup, delivering increased power and efficiency. The smaller standard range, SR, battery is 72 kilowatt hours in size and supplies 250 miles of range in RWD configuration or 230 miles with AWD. This is an increase over the original 2021 Mach-E, but nothing new compared to last year. As of the 2023 model year, the standard range models use a cheaper lithium iron phosphate, LFB, battery rather than nickel manganese cobalt. Opting for the 91 kilowatt hours extended range, ER, battery boosts the range to 320 miles with RWD, only available on the premium trim, or 300 miles with AWD, an improvement of 10 miles over 2023 models. Range drops to 280 miles in the GT with the larger battery, which is still a 10 mile increase compared to last year's model. Both batteries still charge at a 150 kilowatts peak, but the 10 to 80% charge times have been reduced by over 8 minutes for the extended range, down to 36 minutes, and by over 5 minutes for the standard range, down to 32 minutes. As a reminder, Ford is one of the first automakers to offer Tesla supercharger compatibility using an adapter. Performance varies dramatically depending on the battery size and motor count. The least powerful Mach-E, SR battery with RWD, produces 264 horsepower and 387 lbft of torque, while the AWD model bumps those numbers up to 325 horsepower and 500 lbft. If you get the bigger battery, the RWD version gets 290 horsepower and the AWD version makes 365 horsepower and 500 lbft. 0 to 60 times range from 5.6 seconds on the slow end to 4.1 seconds at its quickest. As with last year's electric Stang, 
the GT still produces 480 horsepower from dual electric motors. For 2024, the performance upgrade dials the torque up from 600 to 700 lbft. This is the quickest version of the Mach-E, hitting 60 miles per hour in just 3.3 seconds, which is 0.2 seconds quicker than the 2023 model. Ford says the Mach-E GT will complete the quarter mile in a scant 12.2 seconds. Even without the performance upgrade, you can dispatch the benchmark sprint in under 4 seconds. Driving impressions, better than before. If you liked everything about last year's Mustang Mach-E, this new model provides the same experience, but a little bit better. We nabbed some seat time in the GT, which was equipped with the new performance upgrade. It's rapid, as we expected, but the most important change for 2024 can only be experienced when you pin the throttle to the floor. The outgoing model wouldn't allow full power after just 5 seconds, but this new model keeps the acceleration maximized for longer. If you aren't the type of person who typically uses full throttle often, these changes for 2024 may not mean much to you. Changes aside, the Mustang Mach-E remains one of the more entertaining EVs at its price point thanks to eager steering and a well-tuned chassis. We wish Ford would have expanded the availability of its Magneride dampening system, but it's still limited to the GT. Magneride improves ride comfort while also limiting body roll, two benefits we'd love to see across the range with a greater emphasis placed on the former. Pricing and verdict. Is better enough? For 2024, the Mach-E now starts at $39,995 for the RWD Select, which is neither the cheapest nor the most expensive in its class. The premium RWD is available starting at $43,995, and prices rise when you add the extended range battery or AWD. Now available with more standard performance, the Mach-E GT is pricey at $53,995, with the off-road rally costing even more at $59,995. So long as other EVs offer the $7,500 federal tax credit, like the Chevrolet Blazer EV and Tesla Model Y, Ford can't compete as well on pure value. Leasing is a decent workaround, though, since any leased Mustang Mach-E will get the credit. With new and updated EVs launching seemingly all the time now, it's going to be more difficult to convince consumers to buy one that has already been on the market for a few years. If you've wanted a Mustang Mach-E but haven't pulled the trigger yet, now might be a good time to buy one with these new improvements, but we wouldn't advise current owners to rush out and trade in for them. If your lease is up and you'd like to get another one, the 2024 model is certainly worth considering. Our stance on the Mustang Mach-E mostly remains the same as last year. It's a solid EV with great styling, enjoyable driving dynamics, and competitive range. However, many EVs now cost less, including a $7,500 federal tax credit, charge quicker, and go further on a charge. If you are cross-shopping the Mach-E, options like the Chevrolet Equinox EV, Hyundai Ioniq 5, Kia EV6, Tesla Model Y, and the Volkswagen ID.4 are all worth considering, unless you really want to own a Mustang.